is for this work. Oh, program tag deliver to develop. The program that we are using to deliver your children worldwide. For them to develop. According to your plan, according to your will, Lord, accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, our Father, we thank you for different testimony that we are recording weekly, oh, daily, from this particular program, from the anointing that you are releasing. Lord, accept our thanksgiving now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, our Father, is there any evil thoughts around? Is there any evil plan around? Is there any evil organization around? Against this particular hour now, I release the thunder of Holy Ghost to scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release the thunder of Holy Ghost into the west, to the north, to the south, and to the east. If every evil conspiracy against this particular program now, Against the people that are watching this program today, Lord, let the thunder of Holy Ghost scatter them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And every evil thought concerning this particular program this night, back to send them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I pray for all your children. Let them begin to feel the presence of Jesus. Let them begin to feel the anointing of this program now. Let them begin to feel the fire of this Holy Ghost of this particular program now. Father Lord, and let the angel continue to locate them and continue to deliver them this night in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Children of God, I welcome you to another powerful program, Deliver to Develop. This is another Wednesday night in which the Lord has prepared a powerful message for everybody that is watching this program now. And the Lord has released and the Lord is going to use the fire of Holy Ghost, anointing of Holy Ghost, to deal with another kind of bondage in our life. In your life this night and what is that bondage the bondage is bondage of rise and fall the Lord want to deal with a particular bondage called bondage of rise and fall bondage of rise and fall I decree oh whosoever is under this particular bondage of rise and fall Oh, every power that made you to rise and fall today shall be destroyed in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And every bondage that you may be present in now, that is making you to fall gradually, making your business to fall gradually, making your family to, to fall gradually, making whatever you lay your hand upon to fall gradually, I pray. That bondage now cast fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I decree you will rise again. I decree your business will rise. I decree that family will rise. I, Holy Ghost, I decree whatsoever you lay your hand upon will rise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Children of God, I want us to go into the Bible now. And we are taking our test from the book of First uh, Samuel chapter 15, 20 to 23. First Samuel, the book of First Samuel chapter 15, verse 20 to 23. The book of First Samuel chapter 15, verse 20 to 23. I believe that you have opened your Bible and I believe that you are there now as we want to reach together. Children of God. I am reading from verse 20. And Saul said unto Samuel, Yea, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord, and have gone the way which the Lord sent me. 
and have brought Hagar, the king of Hamalek, and have utterly destroyed the Hamalekite. Verse 21. But the people took all the spoil, sheep and horses, the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed, to sacrifice unto the Lord, the God in Gigah. Verse 22. And Samuel said, As the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice, as in obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to act him than the fat of rams. Oh, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. Children of God, this night we want to treat a particular message that you've had. Bondage of rise and fall. When we talk of bondage of rise and fall, I've read a particular chapter of the Bible unto you now, which is 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 20 to 23. When we talk of rise, we are talking of rise is a state of living lower level to higher level. Lower position to higher position. Poor condition to best condition. Reducing situation to best situation. Worst performance to best performance. These are the way we can divide the word rise. And when we talk of fall, we are talking of opposite of rise. It's just like world and opposite. Oh, therefore, rise and fall is a vice versa issue. And because it's a vice versa issue, I pray the power of God that will make you to rise in which you will not fall again. Wherever you are, receive now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the anointing of Holy Spirit that will make you to rise oh, to the peak of your career and you will never fall. Oh, receive that anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Children of God, we are talking about bondage. When we talk of bondage of rise and fall, we can see sample of bondage of rise and fall in the Bible. You know, Bible is a book of all books. Bible is a book of anointing. Bible is the book of power. Bible is the book of salvation. And that is why we need to go to the Bible for us to see clearly people that were in the bondage of rise and fall and what eventually caused it. And I pray for you. Maybe you are experiencing rise and fall. Oh, since you are born onto this planet heart, I pray the anointing that will destroy the bondage in your life, receive now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When we talk of bondage of rise and fall, we to need to understand that it is not easy for somebody to fall unless there are some power behind it, unless there are some events behind it, unless there are some things, oh, either physically or spiritually, that cause it. And as a child of God, we need to understand what are the causes and who are the people that rise and eventually fall at the end of the day. And that is the reason why we 
are going to look at number one causes of rise and fall in woman's life, in Christian life, when you are working with God. Because God did not want you to rise and you fall back. The will of God for you is for you to rise onto the peak of your career. Today, we have seen that disobedience is one of the causes of rise and fall. We have seen this night from where I read for you that God in his infinite mercy choose some from nowhere to become the first king of Israel. If you a Bible scholar, we discover, discover that Paul saw brother was looking for the sheep of his father, with one of his father, with one of his father's uh, servant, and eventually he met the prophet of God, and the prophet of God prophesied that Saul will be the next king of Israel, in which that prophecy come to pass. From there, Saul became king. I pray for you. With the reason of anointing now, be stored up for me now. I pray for you. By the grace of God that I have this night, oh, you will rise and you will not fall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord that make Saul to rise to become king of Israel, we make you to rise, to, to be the peak of your family, peak of your career, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and you will never fall. Children of God, when God gives somebody a particular position, God Almighty wants you to use that position to do a lot of work for him. That is why when you are praying that you want God to lift you up, you want to attain a particular position, you want to attain a particular anointing, you want you need a particular gift. When God gives it to you, then they will give you instruction how to work for them. God made Saul to become king. And God now gave Saul the first assignment. And what was that assignment? The assignment is that he should go and smite the Hamalekai. And the Bible said that Saul went with all his followers to smite the Hamalek. And they discovered that Saul did not carry the assignment according to the direction given by God. And this made God to be angry with Saul. And this is a tantamount to disobedience in memory. And when there is a disobedience, what we follow it is rejection. And that is why the Lord used the prophet Samuel to prophesy into the life of Saul that since you disobey the instruction of God, then God has rejected you oh, to become the king of Israel again. I pray for you. Every spirit of disobedience in you that may want God to reject you, that may want God to banish you, that may want God to forget you. May all that spirit of disobedience, oh, today shall be removed completely in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Children of God, one of the things that causes rise and fall 
is disobedient. 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 The moment you do not obey God in totality, in whatever God asks you to do, then that person should expect rejection. And Saul was rejected. It was not Saul alone that was rejected. We can also see again Esther in the book of Esther chapter 1, verse 1 to 22. When we go into the book of Esther chapter 1, verse 1 to 22, we are going to see another bondage of pride that caused the rise and fall of facet. You know, facet. She was a queen, and the king gave instruction to her, and pride make her to disobey. Another thing that caused rejection is pride. When there is a spirit of pride, in someone's life, that person will rise and fall. Now, we discover that Facet was being addressed as Queen Facet, but later she became Mrs. Facet. Why? Because the pride has made him make her to fall. I pray for you. The spirit of pride the spirit of arrogance in you that will not allow you to read the peak of your career, to read the peak of your event, to read the peak of your talent. That spirit today shall be removed from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Children of God, we can also see that foundation can also cause it. Foundation, inherited foundation can also make somebody to rise and fall at the end of the day. Here, Genesis 13, verse 1 to 13, we will see Lot. Lot rose up and fall back because of inherited foundation of poverty. I pray for you. That particular inherited foundation that may want you to fall back from the peak that you are now. Oh, shall be destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Children of God, we can also go to the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 26, where we are going to see the effect of the effect of flesh. Effect of flesh. Flesh can also make someone <laughs> to rise and fall. When you rise and you allow flesh to dominate your life, instead of walking in the spirit, living in the spirit, you now open your life into flesh. You release your life, you release yourself onto flesh. Oh, my dear sister, brother, one will fall because flesh will give you a lot of enjoyment that will, will make you grow up and if it fell again, we will see Silas. Silas rose up and Silas fell. We, another person is Dema. Dema rose up and Dema fell again. Samson rose up and Samson fell. Oh, now me rose up and now me also fell. Jonah and Judas and many in the Bible like that. They rose up and they fell back. And that is why the Lord wants you oh, to look at your life. Look at yourself. Check your life. Check your behaviors. Check the way you are doing things. Check the position that you are now. Look at 
where you are coming from and the position that you are now. All these things, are they not emanating in your life? The spirit of disobedience? Are you not allowing it to work in you? If you are allowed to talk disobedient to work in you, oh, disobedient is the one that changed King Saul to become Mr. Saul. Everybody always addressing as King Saul, but disobedient make Saul to become Mr. Saul. Children of God, pride make Queen Facity to become. Mrs. Facet. Oh, flesh is one that dealt with Judas, Jonah, Silas, Gehazi, Naomi, Samson, and foundation, inherited foundation, dealt with Lord. Children of God, these are the things that cause what we call rise and fall. All of them, they rose. But eventually they fall. And that's why, as a Christian, as a believer, we need to walk in the spirit. Live in the spirit. I'm saying it again. Walk in the spirit. Live in the spirit. When you are walking in the spirit and you are living in the spirit, then spirit of disobedience, spirit of pride foundational power, then flesh will not have power upon you. Because the Spirit of God will help you to overcome them. And I pray for you. Oh, you will never, never fall. I pray for you. You will reach the peak of your talent. You will reach the peak of your business. You will reach the peak of your career. You will read the peak of your family. And I pray for you, if that particular bondage is in your life now, as you are filling this particular program now, the anointing that will come down when we go into prayer session now, we break the yoke in your life. We break the bondage in your life. And you will be delivered for you to Develop. And I pray that the grace, the power for you, in order to play perfectly, oh, for you to be delivered, oh, so that you will develop as we are going to the prayer session now, shall be given to you in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Children of God, I want us to go into prayer session now. These are the prayer that will deliver you. As I always say, don't wait for pastor to lay hand on you. Don't wait for anybody to be pushing you here and there. Say, you deliver by fire, by force. Oh, pray the prayer point as being released from the Holy Spirit. And you discover that you will be delivered. A lot of people have been testified into the deliver to develop program. They have been testified. Oh, when they use this prayer point, a lot of people are even asking for more of this prayer point because it's an instant answering prayer point. And I pray for you as you release yourself now unto Holy Spirit to deliver you. Because Holy Spirit will come and deliver you. And as you release yourself unto the angel of God to come and deliver you now, they will deliver you and you will develop. Your business will develop. Your glory will develop. Oh, everything that you lay your hand upon will develop. Your achievement will develop. Oh, in your office, you will get that promotion. So shall it be for you. Let us go into the prayer section. Children of God, we have 15 prayer points that we want to pray this night uh, and pray for you. The Father of God that you need, receive now. The first prayer point. Every
every evil command of downward movement placed upon me. Back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil command of downward movement placed upon me. Back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, children of God, they've spoken to you. You now speak. Oh, some people have conjured. Some people have using evil command that your life must go downward. That you must you must explain what they call downward movement. And you have to rise up now. You have to speak now. Every evil command of downward movement. Oh, place upon what your Lord did back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is that commander that is commanding evil into my life, into my deed, into my body, into your house? Oh, who is that evil commander that is commanding evil things into your life, into your children's life, into your husband's life? Oh, back to Satan. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Back to Satan now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I decree. Oh, ye evil commander, be banished now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, whosoever stand in the midnight and, and it is commanding evil things into my life, evil things into your life. Oh, Holy Ghost thunder, scatter the person in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is that person that stands in the midnight and is commanding evil things? That word movement into my life, into your life, into your family. I decree, oh, you go fire, thunders of Holy Ghost, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You must be delivered for you to be developed. A lot of people want you to be in bondage. Evil power. They want you to be in bondage. Enemies want you to be in bondage. People that you even trust at times want you to be in bondage. Oh, your relatives, they want you to be in bondage. That is the reason why you have to pray. Because when they are in bondage, they are, they are happy. And that is why when you can never, never be in bondage. Oh, and I pray for you. Every anointing that you need this night. Oh, to pray with fire. To pray with fire. To pray with fire. Receive now. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bondage of self-destruction in my life. Be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name. Every bondage of self-destruction in my life be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What do I mean by bondage of self-destruction? When there is disobedience in you, you will destroy yourself. When there is pride in you, you will destroy yourself. That's why you have to deliver before you can be developed. You have to pray this particular prayer point very well. It was bondage of disobedient inside the life of Saul that making Saul to become Mr. Saul. Queen, facet, become facet again. Oh, you have to pray. Bondage of self-destruction in my life be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Ask fire of Holy Ghost to come upon you wherever you are now. Ask Holy Ghost fire to come upon you Oh, let that spirit of disobedience, let the spirit, let that spirit of pride leave you now. Oh, you bondage, oh, of self-destruction in my life. Oh, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. I will not destroy myself. I will not destroy my gift. I will not destroy my life. I will not destroy my talent. I will not destroy my beauty. I will not, I will not destroy my achievement. Oh, bondage of self-destruction 
in my life, oh, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. You won't destroy yourself. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Number three, prayer point. All funny angels that want me to fall at the peak of my career, catch Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All funny angels that want you to fall at the peak of your career, catch fire now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You must read the peak of your career. There are some assigned funny angels that they, want, they don't want you to read the peak of your career. That is why you have to pray the prayer. As the Lord has sent it to you now. All funny angels that want me to fall at the peak of my career, at the peak of my talent, at the peak of my gift. Oh, cast fire in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 What on that day we read the peak of his career. I will read the peak of my kid. I will read oh, the God, oh, thank you, Father. Mary Masketeri Kasakatari Kasatari. Oh, there is a ladder. I saw a ladder. The Lord released ladder now for, for people oh, to climb so that they will be able to read the peak of their career. I saw ladder now. I pray for you. Receive power to climb the ladder. This Holy Ghost, Mary Masakatari Kasantari. Oh, receive power to climb the ladder. Tomorrow, Thursday, by 10 o'clock, you will have a complete breakthrough. I receive it now. Receive power now to climb the ladder. All the people that have filled this program now, I saw the ladder. The ladder is already with you. Receive power now to be able to climb the ladder. You will climb the ladder and you will reach the peak. You will read the peak of your career. You will read the peak of your talent. You will read the peak of your glory. So shall he be for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for Holy Ghost. Mary, my secretary, Cassandra. My care, my secretary, Cassandra. Somebody is feeling this program now. I don't say you are complaining. This place is paining you. We are tapping out. It's paining you. Every load placed on you scattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are complaining that this place is paining you. Wherever you go, it's paining you. You've gone to hospital, they cannot get what is happening. I pray for you. It's a demonic yoke placed on you. That the Holy Ghost, Mary, my secretary, Cassandra. That demonic yoke placed on you, scattered now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered. Go and develop. Go and develop. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Father. We are in prayer point number four. Oh. In built pride that what to change me from favor to failure. Christ, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In built pride can change you from favor to failure. That is why you have to ask the fire of the Holy Ghost to come unto you now. If there is pride in you, pride will change you from favor to failure. Pray. Don't wait for anybody to come and deliver, to go and carry deliverance upon you. Deliver now to be developed. be pride that want to take me from favor to failure. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire. Pray like that. Cast fire, cast fire, cast fire. I've obtained the faithful of God. I will never fail. What other day will not fail? What other day will not fail? My name will not be in the book of failure. My name is already in the book of faithful. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you, Father. You better pray as I pray. You better pray along with me. You better pray as only Ghost is giving you the word. Oh, you better expand your prayer. When you hear the prayer point, expand it. 
as Holy Ghost is, is, is we giving you option, we be giving you direction. We have to spread your prayer. Oh, this is a powerful night. Deliver to develop. As you are joining us, some people are just joining us now. You are in a particular program called Deliver to Develop. That is the platform you are now. Oh, we are children of God are uh, getting their deliverance every Wednesday, and you will get your own too. Prayer point number five. Spirit of disobedience that want to change me from among the best to among the rest, cast fire. Spirit of disobedience that want to change me from among the best to among to among the, uh, the rest, cast fire now. Jesus Christ, every spirit of disobedience that want to change me from among the best to among the rest. Oh, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire. fire. Saul was the first king, oh, of Israel. Yo, he is the best, but he became I. When the spirit and God for you, you are in trouble unless you deliver for you to develop every spirit of disobedience. Oh, that want to change me from a man the best. Oh, to a man the rest. Catch fire. Catch fire. You cannot work in one or that day. I'm among the best now in Nigeria. I'm, I'm, I'm among the best now in the world. You cannot change me. I will never go back to among the rest. You will never go back to among the rest. You better decree. You better pray now. You must not go back to among the rest. You must be within the best. Best of the best. So shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the work. Thank you for everything that you are doing on this particular platform. Oh, thank you for the fire that he number six prayer point. Oh, power of flesh that want to change me from financial controller to property controller. Oh, be destroyed today in Jesus' name. Power of flesh that want to change me from financial controller to property controller. Be destroyed. Be destroyed, be destroyed. Some people they are financial controller their family before, but flesh has made them to be property controller now. You better pray a particular prayer point. You see millions of people today in Nigeria. Oh, you will see them, they are their financial controller of their family, of their village, of their town, of their community, of the country before, but now they are poverty controller. What causes it? Power of flesh. I receive it when God is giving me this prayer point today. You have to pray. Power of flesh that want to change me from financial controller. Oh, to poverty controller. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. That power of flesh in one another. Oh, I am the financial controller. I won't be poverty controller. You better say your whole now that you are financial controller. You never be poverty controller. Oh, pray now with power. Pray now with unction. Pray the word of God. I pray every power of flesh that want to change me from financial controller to poverty controller. Oh, cast fire, cast fire. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Power of flesh that want to change you from financial controller among your kindred, among your relative, among your family to poverty controller. Oh, it's not your portion. Power, cast fire today. Cast fire now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Oh, go and remain financial controller of your family. Go and remain financial controller of your community. Go and remain financial controller of this state. Go and remain financial controller of your country. That power of flesh has been destroyed today. And you will never be poverty controller. I will never be poverty controller. Number seven prayer point. Thank you, Father. Evil conspiracy that warned me to fall by fire by fall, scattered today in Jesus' name. Who are the people that conspire? Where are they? Maybe you are in the west, in the north, in the east, in the south. You conspire, you say, what are they with fire by fire? Oh, you've missed it. Cast fire. In my family, who are the ones that conspire that I will fall? Oh, you've missed it. Oh, you scatter fire. Be scatter now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are the people that conspire against you? Conspire against me. Conspire against my gift. Conspire against my talent. Who conspire against your talent? Who are the ones that conspire? You know them. They know you. They conspire. I pray. That's fire. I release Holy Ghost thunder. Oh, Holy Ghost thunder. Holy Ghost thunder upon them. In the west. In the north. In the east. They said they want you to fall by fire by fall. Bible told me 40 empty men. Oh, they said they will not eat. Oh, until Paul, until Paul fall. Oh, but there is anointing upon Paul. Paul of the whole. He used the anointing. He used the power. He used the authority. And they scatter. Bible said they went into fasting and prayer. 40 empty men. They said they will never eat until Paul, unless Paul for that. Who are the one that is going into evil fasting upon you? Oh, who are the one that is going into evil fasting upon you? Who are the one that is using evil prayer points concerning you? Evil prayer points concerning me? I decree, oh, thunder of Holy Ghost, destroy them now. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, who bomb and kill, who dash and banana. It is true that you cannot pray. When you pray, their conspiracy will scatter. To live to develop. Number eight prayer point. Arrow of rise and fall in my body. Catch fire today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, speak to your body now. Oh, communicate to your body now. Oh, ask Holy Ghost fire to come upon you now. Where is that arrow in you? Arrow of rise and fall. Oh, last year you rise. This year you fall. Last month you rise. No, next month they want you to fall. Last week you rise, this week you fall, rise and fall, arrow of rise and fall is in you. You have to pray for the, five, the first five years of your marriage, you enjoy. Oh, and after that five years, you, you, things are now going down. The marriage is falling gradually, that arrow is working. Arrow of rise and fall in your family, in your home, in your business. Oh, catch fire. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Oh, release fire now. Fire of God is coming out of your mouth. Just begin to speak to your family. Speak to your leg. Speak to your life. Speak to your body. Speak to your inner mouth. Speak to yourself. Speak to your room. Speak to your room. Speak to everything around you now. Begin to speak. Begin. Holy Ghost, thank you, Father. Mary, my secretary, Cassandra. Oh, whosoever plan evil. Lord, for you, they will carry it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I saw some people, they put evil loads down. Oh, it is not your own person. Whosoever, oh, plan evil load for one of our plan evil load for you. I pray that evil load is not your portion. Oh, carry it by fire, by force. You are the one that gather evil load. Carry your evil load and go and perish. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Holy Ghost. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Evil anointing. <laughs> that gave me wrong evaluation of my life. Catch Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> evil anointing. Evil anointing. Evil anointing that gave me wrong evaluation of my life. Catch Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When you have evil anointing, you will, you will be having what they call evil posting. Uh, evil posting can make you to dis can destroy you easily, can destroy your talent, can destroy your gift. When you are posting that you are more than a general overseer, that you are more than pastor, you are more than this, you are more than your boss. When you are having evil posting, that what are they doing? You can do it. That is why you will never do it. Yes. Because you've never paid the price they are paying before they, are, before they begin to do it. And you are boasting here and there that what is all those father and dialogue, what are they doing? Or so, that you can do it. Go and try it with your evil boasting. <laughs> when you boast, boast, you just discover that you boast. Evil boasting will make you to go to, to go and boast. Oh, and when you boast, <laughs> you fall. Evil boasting that gave me wrong evaluation. It gives you wrong evaluation that you can do it. Wrong evaluation of my life. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. 
Catch fire. Catch fire. We better pray now so that you will not burn boss. Evil bossing. We make you to boss. I have it. The Lord said, whosoever is bossing, oh, that he can, he, that can do whatever he cannot do. Oh, that person will boss. And that is the end. Oh, that evil boss in your life that give you wrong evaluation of yourself. Oh, catch fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Number 10 prayer point. <laughs> oh, don't go and bust. Judas bust at the end of the day from evil posting. Dema bust at the end of the day. Silas bust at the end of the day from evil posting. Barnaba bust at the end of the day from evil posting. They said what Paul is doing, they can do it. Number 10 prayer point. Self-able that make benefactor to distance themselves from me. Cast Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Self-able. What you don't have, you say you have it. Yes. Instead of you to go in humility, you are going with ego. And when you are going with ego, benefactor will distance themselves from you. That is where a lot of people are saying, they do not have benefactor. When there is a self ego in you, you say, what how more does he have? When he starts your own business now, you will have more than that. How more do they use to build that church? When you start your own church now, you will build it within one day. That is self ego. <laughs> self ego that makes benefactor to this and side from me. Catch fire in the battle of Jesus Christ. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. All oh, self ego. Self ego. Self ego. Self ego can cause rise and fall. Self ego that make benefactors to distance themselves from me. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. fire now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh. Children of God, the power of self ego. The power of evil posting that can make someone to bust at the end of the day. And that person will not rise again. I pray if you have faith in you as a child of God and you surrender now unto Holy Spirit, out of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are delivered. Go and develop. You are delivered. Go and develop. You are delivered. Go and develop. So shall he be. We are on prayer point number 11. I decree, I will rise above all my enemies in Jesus' name. Go. Oh. Pray. Decree. Bible say, you will decree and it shall be established in heaven. Decree this night. This is Wednesday. Oh, you have to decree. Oh, some people sent a testimony to me <laughs> outside Nigeria last week. You have to pray. When you pray, you will discover that you will continue to rise and rise right above that enemy that wants you and your husband to come down. You ask them to come and eat. Then they want to fold your own hand. This is prayer point again for you. For you to rise and rise and rise. I decree, I will continue to rise above all my enemy Jesus name. One on that day, we continue to rise. Day in, day out. Month in, month out. Week in, week out. Year in, year out. Oh, above my enemy. Above my enemy. Above my enemy. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Number 12 prayer point. I decree. I will lead the peak of my career in Jesus' name. It is a must for me. It is a must for you. You Holy Ghost, Mary, my secretary, my secretary, my secretary. Oh, I pray for five of you. There is a promotion on your way now. In the month of June, receive that letter of promotion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I saw five doors. The Lord said that five doors is for five people. 
and that's five people that don't want to give them promotion in their place of work. And that is what caused the job. Oh, thank you, Father. I decree, I will read the book of my career in Jesus' name. Number 13, prayer point. I decree, I will live a fulfillment life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will never live a fridge life. I will never live weak life. I will never live below average. What your last day will be fulfilled in life. Decree, you will be fulfilled in life. You will be fulfilled in life. When you rise and you did not fall, then you will surely be fulfilled in life. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Number 14 prayer point. I decree explosion of my gift and talent begin today in Jesus' name. Oh, I decree explosion of my gift and talent begin today. Begin now. Begin now. I decree as oh Mary Ma Secretary Kasakatari Kasantari. Thank you, Father. God is talking to me. The Lord is talking to me. Is that is my own testimony. I will not share it. The Lord is sending some things to me. He said myself, I'm sending a particular thing to you very soon. <laughs> I decree explosion of my gift. All in into your talent, into your gift. Oh, so shall you be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Number 15 prayer point for today. Deliver to develop. Testimony of next level. Begin my life today in Jesus' name. Any next level that you want. This is the prayer point that we give you this week. This is the prayer point that your, you and your husband, you and your family, this is the prayer point that you need. Oh, the Lord gave me this prayer point, the last prayer point that, this is the prayer point that is going to draw a lot of good things into your life as you begin to pray now. Because the bondage of rise and fall has gone. And that is the reason why you need testimony. Testimony will come now. Testimony of next level begin in my life today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I decree now that is testimony of next level begin in my life, begin in your life, begin in your life, begin in your life. People that are watching, people that are enjoying this program, people that are feeling this program now, testimony of next level begin in your life now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I had this, this one this afternoon. I lost said, my son, you have to use two minutes to pray for people that are observing their birthday. They are observing their birthday this week. Maybe your back today is your birthday. This week is your birthday. I want to pray for you now, generally. And that, and what is the prayer point that Lord said I should pray for you? The Lord said I should decree. Unto your life. Hmm. All your enemy, antagonist, supplanter, mocker, destiny destroyer, star idaka, we surrender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree once again. All your enemy, antagonist, supplanter, mocker. Destiny destroyer and star attacker will surrender by fire by force as you are entering into new year. As you are observing your birthday, so shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you. Then the Lord says, I decree again, oh, as from today, <laughs> begin to count new glory, begin to count new success, begin to count new blessings. And begin to count new achievements. Happy birthday to all of you. And let us pray now into our water, water of deliverance. Bring out your water. I want to pray to the water now. As we are going to the end of today's program, we have been released from the bondage of rise and fall. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anointing mighty that we make us rise to the peak of our career, to the peak of our gift, 
to the peak of our talent, to the peak in our family, to the peak in Nigeria. Oh, be released into the water now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, Holy Ghost, Mari Masokotori Masokotori Masekiteri Kasakatari Kasantani. I'm writing that we break internal yoke that is disturbing some people in their stomach now. Be released into that water now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm writing that we break that internal yoke that is in your stomach. That is disturbing you. That do not allow you to, 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 to eat. Oh, be released into the water now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, and I pray, and write, oh, that we make you to